my dear students welcome to online classes i am ravi kumar kr lecturer in computer science jsipu college mysore students let us start our session today with iteration statements is iteration statement so what are iteration statements iteration statements are nothing but repetition of statements or repetition of statement it is also called as looping structure it is also called as looping structure and this written statements are used to repeat repeat a set of statements repeat a set of statements based on based on the logical condition and until the condition is until the condition is true and if condition fails if condition fails if condition fails it it come out of looping structure looping structure and goes to next statement goes to next statement so this is called iteration statements so iteration statements are also called as repetition of statements and this is also called as looping structure we are using this iteration statements to repeat a set of statements based on some logical condition until the condition is true if once a condition fails it will come out of the looping structure and goes to next statement so this is called as iteration statements there are three types of looping structure one is while loop do while loop and for loop so here there are three types of looping structures they are while loop do while loop and for loop and all the structures all these structures are used for repetition of statement until some condition is satisfied now let us see the syntax and example of all these structures one by one now let us start with while loop while loop and this while loop is called as pre tested loop pre tested loop and here the set of statements the set of statement are statements repeated repeated until until the condition is until the condition is is true and if condition is false it will come out of it will come out of come out of loop so this is while loop while loop is a iterative statement and here it is called pre tested loop because we are going to test for the logical condition at the beginning of the loop it that is why it is called as pre tested loop and it is going to repeat number of statements and as long as the condition is true once the condition fails it will 
come out of the loop. Now let us say syntax of that. Syntax of while loop. And here, first is initialization. First is initialization. And second statement is while, while logical condition. While condition. And no semicolon here. Open the bracket. And here is statement, statement, or statements. Then last statement in this block will be either increment statement, either increment statement or decrement statement, or decrement statement. Then we are closing this loop here. So this is the syntax of while loop. So first. First line is initialization. Second line is the starts with while reserve word and logical condition. So these set of statements are repeated. It's going to repeat until the condition is true. Once the condition fails, it will come out of while loop. Now let us see some example for this while loop. Write a program to print the numbers print the numbers in descending order in descending order so the program is to print the numbers in descending order so here suppose the starting value is 10 we suppose to print generate the number 10 9 8 7 up to 1 so this is the program. The program is to print the numbers in descending order from starting number to zero, up to zero. This is the program. Now the program starts with header files, hash include iostream.h, hash include Conio.h void main and here's clear screen. Next declaration of variables. Here I'm using only one variable that is int as n. n is the starting value or the starting number. So n is starting number. Now we we'll display a message C out. Enter, enter starting number, starting number, close the quote, endl, semicolon. We have to read the values, c in, n is the variable, n is the variable, n and semicolon. So next one is, we have to make use of while construct while is a reserve word and condition here here i would like to print numbers from the given number up to one or up to zero so here the starting value is it should be always greater than zero it should be always greater than zero so once if it's come to less than zero it will come out of the loop so we have to print the numbers descending in the descending order. This is a starting number from starting number to up to zero. This is a condition. So while and here we have to print numbers that is C out, C out, num, n is the number n. Then here we can use endl statement. So then after this, Another state, last statement would be either increment or decrement statement. We can write here n minus minus semicolon. Here minus minus is a decrement operator. So immediately after this, we have to close this while loop. Next get ch. Then we have to close void main function. So this is a simple program to print numbers in descending order. So how the program is going to execute here? 
first it sin n we have to enter the value of n as a starting number so for when it comes to this stage here while n greater than 0 so n value suppose we enter 10 as a number 10 so 10 is greater than 0 it is true it enters the loop so here it's going to print n n value as it's going to print n value as a 10 then because of this next statement ink decrement statement n minus minus so the value of n will be decremented by minus 1 so value of 9 becomes value of n becomes 9 now 9 is greater than 0 it is true it prints n as 9 n at this stage at this statement the value of n becomes 8 again 8 greater than 0 true it print the value of n as 8 so it goes on like this and after printing 1 is going to print 1 1 after printing 1 here suppose here 1 greater than 0 true it enters this loop c out n c out is going to print the value as 1 here then after this it because of decrement statement it decrement by minus 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 at this stage the value of n becomes 0 0 greater than 0 condition fails here so once the condition fails it will not enter the loop it will come out of the loop so the program stops at this stage so this is a program using while loop to print a descending print numbers in descending order from starting number up to zero now let us see another example now next program to print print the sum of digits sum of digits of a given number of a given number so here the program is to print sum of digits of a given number for example n is a given number let it be 1 2 3 4 or 1234 the output of the program would be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 that is equals to 10 so this would be the output of the program so now we have to write a program for this and hope already have know the logic of this program here the logic of the program is first we have to divide the given number by 10 and store the remainder then again divide the number by 10 store the quotient so this is the remainder and this is the quotient we have to add the remainder to sum here so this is remainder plus sum so then again we have to keep on dividing the numbers as long as the number is greater than 0 or the quotient will be greater than 0 for example n is the number 1 2 3 4 divided by 10 and remainder will be 4 so here what is the quotient now quotient will be 1 2 3 4 divided by 10 quotient is 1 2 3 and here what is the sum here at the beginning sum will be 0 so it is 0 plus 4 that is 0 plus 4 equals to 4 this is the sum similarly next step is we have to divide the quotient so quotient is 123 you have to divide this number so 123 divided by 10 123 here divided by 10 and here the remainder is 3 quotient is 12 sum will be 4 plus 3 equals to 7 next next step is 12 divided by 10 12 divided by 10 remainder is 2 quotient is 1 it will be 7 plus 2 equals to 9 quotient 1 divided by 10 again 1 divided by 10 the remainder is as the 1 is less than 10 the quotient will be the 0 the quotient will be the 0 and remainder is 1 so this remainder is 1 here 
So we are going to add 9 plus 1 that is equal to 10. Once the quotient becomes 0, we cannot divide anymore. So we have to stop at this stage. So this is a program to find sum of a digits using while loop. Now let us write the code for this. Program starts with header files hash include iostream.h hash include conio.h void main first line is clear screen declaration of variables int n is the one sum equal to 0 at the beginning then digit this is one of the variable next step is the message to enter a number see out enter a number enter a number Next, we have to make use of input statement C in N. N is the variable. Next step is while condition while N is greater than 0. This is the condition. So, we have to keep dividing the number, store the quotient, store and find out the remainder and adding the remainder to the variable sum until N is greater than 0. Once the when n value becomes less than 0, we have to stop repeating the statement. So we have to come out of the loop. So while n is greater than 0, digit digit equals to n percentage 10. This is digit is a variable used to store the remainder of this division. So then we have to add this to variable sum here. So sum equals sum plus digit sum plus digit so we have to adding this remainder to a variable sum here then after this we have to find the quotient we write here n equals to n by 10 semicolon now we are closing this so here this loop is going to continue until the n value will be greater than 0 after execution of these statements some value will be stored in the variable sum that we, say we have to print. So after this loop, we have to write here C out output statement, C out the sum of digits of a number equals close the code and here the variable is sum. So we have to print the variable sum and semicolon then close the program with get ch and main bracket here. So this is a program to find the sum of a digits of a given number using while loop. The output of the program would be here I say output output of the program first it display a message enter a number so here we will get a message enter a number enter a number so we have to be supposed to pray enter one number for example 1234 and have to press enter key so the output will be you can see here in the message sum of digit of a number equals so it says that here the sum of digits of a number equals sum is 10. So this would be the output of the program. Students, let me continue the remaining iteration statements in my next session. Thank you very much.